corporate finance OneNote practice problem. In this presentation, we're gonna work a practice problem in OneNote related to the cost of not taking cash discount calculation. Get ready, it's time to take your chance with corporate finance. Here we are in OneNote. If you would like to follow along in OneNote, you're not required to do so, but if you have access to it and would like to, we are in the 810 cost of not taking cash discount calculation tab in the practice problems section. Closing this back out, we're going to have our information on the left. We'll use that to work through the blue area on the right and down below. So the first thing we want to take a look at are the payment terms and how the payment terms might be formatted. And then think about any discount that could be offered in the payment terms and whether or not it would be beneficial for us to take the discount or not. When we think about these payment terms, we can think about them as payment terms we are giving or receiving. In other words, they will look much the same. Uh, when we make sales on account, in other words, we might use a similar payment term here. And when we purchase on account, often inventory on account, then we might see these payment terms from vendors offered to us, which is what our focus will be at this point, so that we can consider whether or not if a discount is offered, it would be beneficial to take it or not. So let's just take a look at some examples of payment terms. So this is often the way it will be formatted. Some number slash some other number and then and then comma either net or even just an n 30 so what does that mean one slash 15 comma net 30 or n 30 so the typical structure is it's going to be it's going to be a one percent discount that's what the one means it doesn't have a percent doesn't have a decimal but it means one percent discount if you pay slash in 15 days otherwise you have to pay within the normal payment terms which is 30 days so normal, the normal payment terms that are most common will be something like a 30-day payment term or like a 60-day payment term. 30 days is probably the most common payment term that you will have. And then you might tack on the discount. So in other words, if you just had a normal 30-day payment term, your term would just be net 30, right? You, we expect to be paid within 30 days is what that would mean. Now, if you tack on a discount, then it's going to have this this other component which is the number slash number one slash 15 one percent discount if you pay within 15 days in this case so let's just recall the strategy of the discount so the the company offering the discount is assuming especially if you're giving uh this to our business to business customer that uh, they have another business you're expecting the business customer to use their cash management strategy and if you just have the net 30 days you would expect then we would since we're the business if we're receiving something and we don't have to pay for 30 days to maximize our cash management strategy we would pay at the end of 30 days exactly here and so what the vendor in this case the purchasing person we're purchasing from is doing is saying hey we'll give you a one percent discount which is very small but it should be enough hopefully they're thinking in order for us to not wait till the end of the 30 days but rather pay within 15 days which could be beneficial so we have this small benefit of a discount but it should be sufficient in order for us to switch over our normal practice of waiting till the end of the month because now it'll be more beneficial just from a cash management standpoint to pay at the end of, of 15 days so that's going to be the, the, the strategy so this so this top one if we were to break this out then uh we'd say what's the discount if it's paid within what time period and paid uh outside the time period so if you were to just kind of name this thing one slash 15 net 30 means one percent discount if you pay within 15 days otherwise you want to pay within 30 days if you don't pay within 30 days you're outside the normal payment period and we might have collection action or penalties at that point this one two slash 19 net 45 would be two percent discount if you pay within 19 days otherwise we would like to be paid within the normal time frame of 45 days if you don't pay us in 45 days we might have penalties or other collection options three dash uh, 10 net 60 we give a three percent discount if you pay within 10 days otherwise we expect net thir uh, 60 days to be paid within 60 days otherwise you're outside the payment terms and we might have collection action or penalties and then this one's going to be more unusual for slash 18 net 115 four percent discount if you pay within 18 days otherwise you will have the normal terms of 115. now the top uh, one or two are probably the most common uh, it's less common to have a discount that's just in order to try to get people to pay sooner that's going to be above like three percent so it's usually a pretty small discount because it's just a cash discount uh, and you might have some industries that have a longer pay period that that for whatever reason within that industry 
that they might have and they might have then a higher discount if you pay within the discounted time period given the fact that they norm their normal terms are later for whatever reason within the industry standard now if we were on the receiving terms of getting these discounts the question is well should we take the discount for example in this first one should i should we actually pay within 15 days where we get the one percent discount or should we wait until the end of the, the 30 days and then just pay the whole thing since the one percent discount isn't that much anyways now note if we have the money if we have the cash flow if we have the available cash normally it would be beneficial to pay it off because that's the point of the discount it would normally be beneficial for us to pay off the discount in the in the time frame if we have the cash flow to do so without it causing us problems elsewhere however in the case where we're financing let's say we're financing the purchase then we've got to be considering okay the cost of financing compared to the cost of the the discount that we're having so in other words if we're financing the purchase should we finance the purchase uh, considering the fact that we have to pay interest on the financing for that time period in this case only 15 days 30 days minus the 15 days should is it worth it to find it fan, finance given the fact that we have to pay interest or or should we wait till the end of 30 days and just pay off the full amount not taking not taking the uh, per, the percent given the fact that we have to pay interest on the loan amount that we're using in order to make the purchase in the first place so that's usually the consideration so that's going to be the consideration we will have our, our question again if we had the cash flow and we didn't have to finance it probably would be beneficial to take the discount and pay within the time period if we don't have the cash flow and we're financing then the question is is it beneficial for us to finance uh, in order to take the discount this is going to be the formula that we will be using the cost of not taking a cash discount it's going to be the discount percent over one minus the discount percent times 360 or the days in a year that we're estimating to be 360 over the final due date minus the discount period, which represents uh, the amount of time that the loan would be outstanding. The, the time frame we're talking about is 15 minus 30. Remember, we're always maximizing our, our, our cost management or cash management. Therefore, if we're going to pay and get the discount, we're going to pay 15 days because that's our cash man. We're not going to pay within 10 days. We're going to wait till 15 days because we want to hold on to our money as long as we can. If we're not taking the discount, then we're going to wait till 30 days because, again, our, the idea is that we're going to hold on to our money as long as we can. And if we're not taking the discount, we'll wait till the very end of the payment term, which is going to be the 30 days. So the difference between the two, if we're going to finance, would be would be how long we're going to be financing this thing over. As we get to the answer of this, it's going to be a percent that we will have. The percent will be the answer. And then the question is the cost of not financing from a percent format. If it's higher, if the cost of not financing is higher than the percentage rate that we would have on the loan to finance, then we would want to finance. If the if this comes out to something lower than the interest rate of the loan that we would we would use to finance, then we would want to uh, to not finance. And uh, we'll take a look at, we'll do this calculation a couple times here, and then we'll take a look at a, at a concrete example where, where we will put numbers to it and kind of prove this calculation so it'll be a little bit more concrete. We'll do that in a future presentation here. We're just going to work this formula a couple different ways for these three or four scenarios. Now you could obviously plug this information into a formula format. Just plug it into your formula here and solve for it algebraically. We're going to do that in more of a table format. I highly recommend breaking out formulas into a table format in Excel. You get a better idea of the formula itself. We're just doing the Excel basically vertically. And if you were going to put this information into a worksheet so that you can test different uh, payment terms with it, then you can put it into Excel and make a, make a flexible worksheet. We do have this problem or a similar one, at least in Excel. So we're going to say the first, the first item here we're considering, the discount is going to be 1%. 1%, that's going to be what the one is. We're doing the first part of our calculation on the inside here. So we've got the 1%. And then we're going to say the denominator is 100% minus the 1%. So that's going to be obviously 100% minus the 1% is going to be 99%. And then if we take the subtotal, dividing those two out, we're going to come up with a fairly small number here. So, so I'm going to make this into a decimal 0 0.01 divided by, or divided by, that's time, divided by 0 0.99 is going to be the 0 0.01 repeated 0 0.01 and on and on. So then we're going to say that the other side is going to be 360 divided by the, basically the time frame. This is, this is going to be our time 
uh, calculation in essence the kind of the reciprocal of time right the fraction of a year the reciprocal the refraction of the year here so we're going to have the days in a year 360 we're saying not 365 because we're using nice even 30 day months so 30 times 12 gives us that 360 and then we have the final due date minus the discount period so the final due date here because remember the difference is if we're if we're not taking the discount we're going to wait all the way out to 30 days paid at the last day we can and for our cash management strategy if we are taking the discount we're going to wait till the last day of the discount period which is 15. so 30 minus the 15 is the amount that if we were to take the discount the, the time period that we're talking about that we're that's being covered that we want to consider basically the cost of financing versus the cost of uh, of not taking the discount so that's going to be the uh, 15 here and then the the subtotal then we're going to take the division problem of the 360 divided by the 15 we get 24 and then we could figure then our n number so we, now we've got our two factors here of our formula and then of course we will multiply them together which is i'm going to say 0 0.010101 repeat repeat it as long as i can here right <laughs> times times the 24 and that's going to give us about if i move the decimal over 24.24 percent 24.24 percent now the point is that if i was to finance this is the cost of not financing in a percentage term so it'll be more concrete once we put a number to it we'll do that in a future presentation but whatever the number is if we were to finance uh, it and we we could finance it at a rate less than a rate to finance less than 24 percent then it would be beneficial if it costs us more than 24 to finance then it would be not beneficial so if, it, if we have a rate less than 25 24 percent or 24.24 then uh, we would want to take the loan out to finance it in order to to pay earlier and take take the discount if, if the rate on the loan on the financing was over that amount then we would just say nah i'm not going to take the discount i'm just going to wait till the 30-day time period uh, due to the fact that the financing is going to cost more than the discount you know the cost of not taking the discount okay so let's do the next one this one is 2 slash 15 net 45 same kind of calculation we're just going to break out this calculation this is the cost of not taking the discount so now we would have a two percent discount which is which would be you know a little bit better but uh if we took the discount we'd have to pay within 19 days if we don't take it we have to pay within 45 days therefore if we take the discount we're going to wait till the end of 19 days pay exactly at 19 days for a cash management strategy if we do not take the discount we're going to wait till we get all the way out to 45 days for a cash management strategy if we have to finance this then the difference between those two is going to be how much we would have to finance it or the time frame to finance it over so looking at this again we're going to say the two percent discount and then we're going to say 100 percent minus the discount which would be 98 100 percent minus two percent that's going to give us our subtotal typically a fairly small number if i do it in a decimal format 0.02 divided by 0.98 is going to give us about uh 2.04 uh 2.0408 and so on <laughs> And then if I look at the other side, which is basically the reciprocal of our time calculation, the fraction of a year, basically, we're going to say the days in the year are going to be 360, 12 times 30, nice and even. And then we've got the, the final due date minus the discount period. That's the time that we're considering here because we're going to say, hey, if I wait and I don't take the discount, it's going to be, I'm going to wait, not pay until we, after that end point 45 days minus the 19 days, meaning we're talking about a financing period of 26 days so if we take that 360 divided by the 26 so we're going to do that real quick we'll say 360 over 26 we get about 13.84 and so on and then we and if i do this again this there's rounding here so just bear with the rounding 0 0.020408 divided by the 13.85 gives us uh, let's do that one more time because i'm supposed to multiply not divide 0.020408 times uh, 13.85 is going to give us about 28.26%. Uh, so in this case, then once again, if I have to finance this, then if I, this is the cost of not financing. So if I could finance it at a rate less than 28, then I would want to finance it. If I, and that means I would take finance it, take the discount and pay within 19 days if the rate happens to be more than 28 to finance for that time period for that 45 days or not the 45 days but the 26 days the difference between the two 
then I'm going to wait till the end of the term, the 45 days, not take the discount and just say, nah, it's okay. I won't take the discount. Let's do it again for the 310. Same thing. So 3% discount if we pay within 10 days, if not 60 days. So discount 3%. We're doing this side of the formula compared to 100% minus the discount, 97%. If we then uh, divide this out, we're going to say we're dividing this out. We're going to say 0.03 over the uh, 0.97 gives us about 3.09278 and so on. And then the other half, 360, this is the inverse of the time or the inverse of the fraction of a year, 360 days, 12 times 30, even year instead of 365. The final day minus the, the discount period, or in other words, 60 days, which would, if we didn't take the, the discount, we pay at the end of 60 days. If we do take the discount, we'll pay at the end of 10 days. That means we're talking about a 10 day period that we're potentially financing over. So if we divide that out, we're going to say, all right, that's going to be the 360 over 50, 2.7. And then this is going to be about, well, we're going to say there is rounding here, 0 0.03092278 times the 7.2 gives us about, if we move the decimal over, 22.27 about. So once again, if we were to finance this, uh, and this is the cost of not financing, so if we can get a loan, that would be less than the the 22.27, uh, then it would be good if and we would pay within the discount period and and finance it. If not, and we had to pay and the and the loan was something greater than 22, then we'd say, no, nah, we're just going to wait till the 60 days and then we'll pay you at the end of the 60 day period. Now let's do it one more time. This is the most extreme example because notice we have the longest time frame, 115 days. So now we're going to have a 4% discount, which is pretty high if you pay within 18 days. And if you don't pay within 18 days, you don't have to pay all the way to 115 days. So if I don't take the discount, I'm going to wait all the way to the end of the 115 days. So let's do this again. First half discount divided by 100 minus the discount, which would be 96. And then we're going to, we're going to do the division problem there, which once again would be 0.04 divided by the 0.96 gives us about uh, 4. 16666 for the for that then the other side is going to be the inverse of time inverse of the fraction of the year 12 times 30 or 360 times uh 115 minus 18 so that's the time frame we're talking over that we're financing to see whether or not it's worth financing it's 97 days in this case the longest time frame that we've seen thus far so we're going to say all right that's 360 over 97 we get about that 3.71. And so if I was to calculate this, we're going to say all right, this is going to be 0 0.04166666 really on forever. And then times about 3.71, we get 15.46. So now we're saying if we have to finance this and uh, if we have to finance this and we and we can get a, a financing for less than 15.4746%, then we're going to pay within the 18 days and pay the smaller amount. Otherwise, if the financing is above that 15 something percent, then we could just say, nah, we'll just wait until we get out to the 115 days and we'll pay you then. So next time we'll, we'll make this a little bit more concrete by adding a, a number, a number amounts to it. So we'll kind of prove this and make it a little bit more concrete next time.